NativeScript Sidekick is a desktop application with a number of really cool features for NativeScript developers. In this video, you'll learn what NativeScript Sidekick is, and you'll see a quick demonstration of Sidekick in action. One quick note before we get started, though. At the time of this recording, NativeScript Sidekick is in a public preview state, meaning Sidekick is relatively new, so there might be a few quirks here and there when you get started. When you're ready, to get Sidekick, head to nativescript.org slash nativescript-sidekick and click this big blue download button. Sidekick is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, so pick the appropriate option for your development machine. NativeScript Sidekick is a companion to the NativeScript command line interface, so you'll also need to have the NativeScript CLI installed on your development machine if you don't already. If you don't, open your terminal or command prompt and type npm install g nativescript to install the NativeScript CLI. Once installed, you should be ready to get started, so go ahead and open up Sidekick. When you do so, you should see a screen that looks a little something like this. This is the home screen of NativeScript Sidekick. From here, you can either open existing NativeScript apps that you might already have on your development machine, or you can create a new app from scratch, which is what we'll do. And on this create app screen, you'll find one of Sidekick's coolest features, a new suite of NativeScript starter kits. These starter kits are a series of NativeScript templates that help you get up and running quickly with common app patterns, including drawer navigation, tab navigation, and master detail lists, or blank apps if you prefer to start from scratch. All starter kits are available for JavaScript, for TypeScript, and for Angular. So no matter your personal preferences, you should be able to get up and running pretty fast. I'm gonna start with an Angular app that uses tab navigation. I'll call it Hello NativeScript, store it on my desktop, and go ahead and create. This command will take a few seconds, as under the hood, Sidekick is using the NativeScript CLI to scaffold a new NativeScript app and also install that app's dependencies from NPM. The screen you see here is the dashboard for your new app. You can always go back to your full list of apps using the link you have here and get back into your specific applications using the View App button. On the dashboard, you can alter some of your app's basic settings, like its name, its description, and its app identifier, as well as its platform-specific settings, both for iOS, get to touch some of the stuff you'd normally have to edit in your info.plist file, and also settings for Android as well. You can view your app icons and splash screens using this Assets tab, and you can also manage your app's plugins from the Plugins tab down here. You can both view installed plugins and see available plugins from the NPM registry. For example, if I wanted to install the NativeScript Toast plugin, all I have to do is click on it and hit this blue Install button. The real fun for NativeScript Sidekick comes in the options you see up here, though. Let's start by going to the Run menu and clicking this Build option. Here, you can create both iOS or Android builds for your NativeScript apps. You can perform the builds locally, which will use the underlying native SDKs that you might have installed on your development machines. Or, and this is where things get really cool, you could perform your NativeScript builds in the cloud using Sidekick's Cloud Build feature. With cloud builds, you have the opportunity to build without needing to have the underlying native system requirements installed on your development machine, which makes a number of really fun things possible, like building NativeScript iOS apps on Windows or Linux development machines. Sidekick lets you build NativeScript apps. It lets you run your apps directly on USB connected Android or iOS devices. For today's demo, I'm actually gonna go straight to this live sync menu as it lets me do a little bit of everything. It lets me build my NativeScript apps, again, both locally or cloud builds, and also lets me set up live sync. Essentially, it lets me set up a watcher that will watch my application code for changes and automatically push those changes out to one to many different devices. Sidekick is smart enough to automatically detect that any devices that you have connected, and this includes both emulators as well as physically connected devices. In my case, you can see that I have an Android emulator up and running and also an iOS simulator. For this demo, I want to start building and live syncing on an Android emulator. So I'm just going to flip this switched on. And one thing cool I want to show you, so I'm going to go ahead and click apply here. Now this machine, I've actually purposely screwed up my Android SDK settings, which is something I do not on accident from time to time. But what Sidekick is smart enough to do is say, hey, your system is not configured for local builds. It'll give me details about all the different Android problems that I have here. Now, this is the same type of error I would get if, say, I've tried to build iOS apps on a Windows machine. Of course, the Xcode doesn't run on Windows. It's not something, building iOS apps on Windows is just not something that you're able to do. But what I can do is I can actually say, hey, let me try this as a cloud build. And go ahead and hit apply. 
Now, what this is going to do is instead of leveraging the Android SDKs that are installed on my machine, which as we just saw are quite screwed up at the moment, instead the build will take place on Sidekick's build servers that live in the cloud. NativeScript Sidekick will build my app in the cloud, return the build application package, and automatically install it on the devices that I specified. In this case, this Android emulator. This will take a little bit of time as basically a full application build is occurring. So I'm gonna move this over, bring over my Android emulator here, open the output tab so I can get a little more information on what's going on here. And through the magic of video editing, my app is now fully up and running. Remember that I selected tab navigation for my app, which is my, my app automatically starts from scratch with this sort of basic structure in place. And because I enabled Live Sync, I can come back here and verify Live Sync is on here. If I open up my app in my text editor of choice, in my case, it's going to be Visual Studio Code here. You can see this page content goes here, aligns with the string that you see on my home screen. If I make changes to my app, so I'll change that text now, Sidekick is able to automatically apply that change to my app. Remember also, this is an app that was built in the cloud. So I didn't even need to have any of these native SDKs installed to make this workflow possible, which I think is pretty cool. The last thing I'll show you is if you head down to the devices menu that you see on the bottom of the screen here, you can see not only a list of devices that native script sidekick is able to detect, but there's also this little debugging icon. If I click this to start the native script debugger, NativeScript will automatically launch the Chrome dev tools for the application that you see here, which on Android gives me access to the brand new elements tab support that we recently shipped in NativeScript 3.1. So for instance, if I want to find this emoji here, if I dive in, this is my first tab, I'll zoom in here in a second, I can see the full visual tree of my application down to the stack layouts that this app is using all the way down to the individual labels that are rendered on this screen. All in all, NativeScript Sidekick is a pretty powerful companion that you can use for your NativeScript app development. With easy ways to get started with our new starter kits, easy ways to build your apps both locally and in the cloud, and easy ways to develop using both our live sync feature and also our built-in debugging capabilities, Sidekick has the potential to really accelerate your NativeScript app development process. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Sidekick is quite new and we really do want to know what you think. If you give Sidekick a shot, please give us some feedback using this link you see on the top of the screen, send feedback here, which will take you to a GitHub repo where you can log really anything you want to tell us about Sidekick. You can also use this chat link on the bottom to reach out to us and tell us what you think. With that in mind, as a last reminder, when you're ready to get started, head to nativescript.org slash nativescript sidekick. Give it a shot.